The episode kicks off with an insane POV shot of someone sprinting violently, breathing heavy. This is one of those moments where you just pause and think, wow, that's why I watch anime. Turns out it's not just anyone running, it's acrobatic silky, back when she was human. Now, cut to the present day, the yokai's creepy hand transitions into view, staring at unconscious Ira all sad and rage filled. The gang's about to have a bad time. Silky snaps and lunges at Momo and Okarun, demanding they give Ira back. Okarun grabs unconscious Ira and bolts. Silky, true to her name, flips, stumbles and makes the terrain her personal jungle gym. She corners Okarun, growling about how she just wants to be with Ira by literally devouring her into her flesh and blood. Creepy much? But Momo swoops in like a pro, explaining Silky's tragic flow. Her acrobatics ensnare anything and everything, including herself, thanks to her signed granny palm binding powers. Silky tries smashing beans to free herself, but Momo's got her locked down. She yells at Okarun, go full throttle and blow her away. Okarun, bless his clueless soul, says, how do I do that? Turns out Mr. Turbo Mode doesn't even know how his powers work. Momo screams, why are you telling me this now? Just kick her already. But before Okarun can get his act together, Silky tears out chunks of her own hair to free herself and attacks them. Things are looking dicey until Okarun finally headbutts Silky so hard she crashes to a wall. Victory? Maybe. Turbo Granny pops out of the backpack for her uninvited commentary. That's all you can do with my power? Pathetic. Momo asks what they should do about Silky, who's now plastered against a building. Granny, in classic sass mode, says, leave her. She's drained, let's focus on this girl. Granny rummages through Ira's pockets like she's searching for spare change and finds the golden ball. But wait, Granny drops the bombshell, Ira's dead. Momo refusing to accept it orders Okarun to perform CPR while she uses psychic power for a cardiac massage. Turbo Granny hilariously pulls out a phone from her side pocket to call an ambulance. That visual alone is a meme material. Just as they are trying to save Ira, Silky starts crawling toward them. Still muttering Ira, Momo snaps, we don't have time for you. Okarun steps up saying he'll handle Silky, but Silky, plot twist, offers a solution. Use my aura to save Ira. Turns out aura is basically a spiritual battery. Without it, Ira stuck in dead mode. Momo doesn't trust her for a second, but Turbo Granny watches for the plan. Momo finally agrees, warning Silky, if you try anything funny, I'll crush your head. Okarun stays on standby, ready to go full throttle again. Using a psychic power, Momo connects Silky's aura to Ira's, and that's when the emotional gut punch hits. Q flashbacks to Silky's tragic backstory. She was a struggling single mother, working as a cleaner and even a prostitute to provide for her daughter. Their life wasn't glamorous, but their bond was unbreakable. Silky gifted her daughter a dress, taught her to dance, and found joy in small moments. But everything came crashing down when two men assaulted her, kidnapped her daughter and left her for dead. Despite her injuries, she chased after them in desperation, only to collapse. The POV running scene returns here. Now drenched in raw anxiety and heartbreak, Silky's memories blur and she's left wandering, unable to remember her child. Years later, she mistakes young Ira for her daughter as she calls her mommy by mistake, clinging to her in delusion. Overwhelmed by grief and regret, she transforms into the yokai we know. Back in the present, Ira wakes up just as Silky starts withering away from aura depletion. Momo, visibly shaken from the emotional weight of the memories, kneels on the ground. Okarun panics, asking if she's okay and getting ready to attack Silky, but Momo tearfully tells him to stop. Silky, realizing the harm she's caused, apologizes to Ira, saying, If you weren't born as my child, you'd have been so much happier. Turbo Granny explains that Silky, burdened by her unresolved regrets, won't even get to rest in peace. She'll simply vanish into the void, ceasing to exist entirely. Momo, devastated, calls it far too cruel, but there's nothing they can do. In a heart-wrenching moment, Ira hugs Silky, crying, Mommy, I love you. I was the happiest person in the universe. Silky, overwhelmed, hugs her back, both of them in tears. As Silky begins to fade, Ira promises, I won't forget, I swear. While the anime leaves it at this bittersweet goodbye, manga readers have shared that Ira's love and forgiveness helped Akro Silky find freedom from her regrets. In the manga, this allows her spirit to move on to the afterlife, where she can reunite with her daughter in a kinder, happier world. Though not shown in the anime, it adds a comforting layer of closure to this deeply emotional moment. And with that, the episode ends, leaving us all emotionally wrecked yet again. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.